Welcome to My Take on It with Your Angelic Karma. If you are interested in sharing your story in a future broadcast, send an email to yourangelicstories at gmail.com. Here she is, folks, your host, the one, the only, the also beautiful, Your Angelic Karma. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my take on it with your angelic karma. We are live once again. Those of you that want to join up, we on the chat. You can't tonight because this is a plug. It is Thursday, February 15th. Any of you that are interested in accountability coaching by your angelic karma, send an email to your angelic karma at gmail.com for information. We are wrapping up. Well, we have a cycle of them wrapping up. I know Saturday we have classes wrapping up, so I'll be free to add more classes on the calendar because we do classes on Saturday. And then in uh, that is this Saturday. Then next Saturday we'll be wrapping up. Then the next Saturday we will be wrapping up and completing a cycle in finality. Those three next Saturdays. So those of you that are interested, the time is being released so that more time can be logged into Saturday's accountability coaching sessions. Remember, send an email to your angelic karma at gmail.com for information regarding that and the type of coaching that I offer. We're going to talk about passion and purpose, which goes along with accountability coaching. And we're talking about passion, purpose, purpose, passion. Now, and a lot of times people like, and we're talking about creativity also. A lot of people like to look at creativity as art, music. Well, that's it. Also, your angel karma plays the flute. She's played the flute since she was nine years old. So that's creativity. Yeah. I could do some writing too, you know, but it's also where in my time period of giving accountability coaching classes, which has been what, like four years now, three or four years. I've helped people that were opening businesses that are in corporate America. I've helped people that are doing spiritual work, tarot readings, um, making oils that are body hair oils, things not to do with spiritual things to do with spiritual. So creativity it comes in a multitude of forms. Your angelic karma feels that she is very creative. And creativity is unique to you. It doesn't have to be anything about painting and artistic work. It could be, it could be related to corporate America, especially if you're putting something with your own spin on it. That's when it becomes creative. You, you're passionate about it. It comes natural to you. Anything that you're passionate about and comes natural to you is creativity. Be you the CEO of a five, Fortune 500 company. That's creative. Also, if you're putting your own natural spin in your work, your angelic karma is well, um, naturally knowledgeable about science, physics, most specifically, and I can incorporate it with the type of spiritual work that I do. That's creativity also. Even if it's science by itself, it's still creativity if it doesn't have anything to do with spiritual. If you're putting your own twist, your own unique, well, with science is different. But still, you're putting, you're adding it, your own twist, your own unique spin is you adding that to something else that is customarily or commonly not added to, or that it is customarily or commonly added to, but what makes it unique and creative is because you're doing it in your way is different. The creativity is not what you're actually doing, is how you apply yourself to what you're doing. Is you as a person that makes what you're doing creative. It doesn't have to be I'm not working at a five, Fortune 500 company. I'm not getting a traditional job. So that means I'm creative. Not really. You can have a traditional job and be creative. It's you, the person that is creative, not what you're doing. So those of you that are interested, send an email to yourangelickarma at gmail.com. And we can see what we can come up with. Until next time, thanks for listening. Bye.